At the school here at Wings Air Helicopters, a student is required to perform emergency manoeuvres. The hardest thing about any emergency procedure, uh, whether it be in aeroplanes or helicopters, is the anxiety and the fear factor. It's the fear you've got to get over because the fear is going to get in, in between you and the control of the helicopter. When we practice auto rotations, we're basically rolling the throttle back to idle. The engine's no longer driving the rotor system. So the helicopter's descending at a rapid rate and it's the, the air flowing up through the rotor system that's keeping the rotor system spinning. Well, in an auto-rotated descent compared to the normal landing, when we land with an engine, we control the speed at which we descend, which is anywhere between 100 and 300 feet per minute. In an auto-rotated descent, we can't control our descent. We're coming down, we've got no engine, we're descending at a rate of anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000 feet per minute. When we approach the ground, we're approaching at a rapid rate, we need to arrest that rate of descent. We perform the manoeuvre in three stages. The first stage is the entry. The second stage is the glide. And the third stage is a recovery. And how we do that is with a flare. Once we feel we've arrested that rate of descent, we level out and we use the energy left in the rotor system to cushion our landing.